breaking travel news. Travel Talk with Phil Blizzard, talking to industry experts and decision makers. Breaking travel news, looking at the incentive travel market, mice in other words, across the Middle East. Focusing now on Qatar, which has a new tourism strategy. So, Hannah, when it comes to the mice sector, what are the key elements within the new strategy which has been announced by your government? Well, it's very important that the, the uh, key elements in our mice uh, strategy that has been launched al along with our tourism 2030 strategy is that exhibitions and conventions. Uh, incentives is, of course, a very important mm. element, but it's not as, as ready as the, the, the exhibitions and uh, conventions. Um, we are relying on, on a very uh, rich uh, background when it comes to the conventions because the government has done a great job. So this gives us sort of, you know, uh, you know uh, a pressure that we, we should keep that rhythm moving up. So uh, we, are, uh, we are here to participate in this very important show that caters the whole Middle East. And as you can see, it's uh, lots of people are here for incentives, conventions, and as well as opening uh, a new different sector for their different clients. Well, you have a global event taking place in 2022, but before we get to that, what is the key message you're putting out at this event? Well, the, uh, if you look back at the 2008, uh, 2022 is very important, mm. but when, when the government launched 2030, in 2008, there was, there was no World Cup. Yeah. So, and uh, you know, this gives you that, that there is a clear vision to move, uh, moving the country toward the 2030 vision. So the World Cup is happening and coming, which is great. Of course, this will boost the, the yeah. and will speed the whole development of the country in different sectors to the to the to the uh, 20, uh, 2022. Uh, for example, the uh, uh, railway, as well as the new airport, the new port. These things should be ready before mm. 2030. It's a big program when it comes to those infrastructure elements which you mentioned. But uh, absolutely. Looking now at MICE, I mean, there's a lot of competition across not only the GCC region, but further afield. I think of maybe like Thailand, which has got a big presence. It's probably a lot cheaper for people to go and have an event in Thailand than what it is in Qatar. So what's your key selling point? Well, we have, uh, we have uh, different programs uh, that we are already started. And this will make the, the, the uh, visit to Qatar as easy as in, uh, in Thailand. Mm. Because, uh, for example, that we, we run a, a program between Qatar Tourism Authority and Qatar Airways, which calls a joint visa with Oman. And this program, in no time, in three months' time, we received 400,000 visitors for this joint venture. Okay. For, so it's just for the joint visa. That's a significant number. Of it course. is, you know, Huge. we didn't expect that. We expect, some, you know, much below than that, but this gives an indication that Qatar is a very important market, mm. Mm. you know, uh, and we are, we are, you know, we th I think we will we will reach much more than that this year, because this keep uh, progressing and getting more and more. When it comes to events, I mean, we talked about the big one in 2022, but Qatar is creating a niche when it comes to art and culture. I'm thinking of art from a global perspective. You've had some very notable uh, events and shows. That, uh, that's right. That's right. Uh, if you look, Qatar has focused on uh, urban and uh, and uh, you know culture with a cultural root. So we, we have different. Our our country is very rich when it comes to history. Uh, for example, the uh, Azabara Fort recently has been uh, recognized as one of the you know uh, you know historical castles in in, sure. in the region. We're talking about uh, the museum, uh, the the, art, uh, the museum, museum of Islamic art. There's also it talks of about course. 400 years yeah, yeah. of the Muslim histories. When it comes to the, uh, uh, you know, Qatar is trying to to mix between the culture, the, the history, and the modern, uh, which gives uh, a very unique product to the visitors. Mm. So, Hamid, a little overview there: the culture of Qatar, the type of events here you're hosting and able to host and the message you're putting out here at GIBTN. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks.